officially miss our first flight. Hey guys, so last time we saw us, we had just arrived in Perth. Hello! <laughs> now it is 72 hours later and we are leaving Perth. Let me catch you up with what's been going on. Oh, princess, I've missed you, hello. I know someone who's missed you more. Bobby? She feels fatter. Oh, <laughs> she's so much fatter. <laughs> well, she did get injured. Oh, yes, oh, I forgot she got injured. So Guys, I've lost my handle. To your door. What? How does that happen? <laughs> it's almost like ripped it out. Oh, well, that's what happens. <laughs> so that's the thing, thing now. <laughs> Oh, I've missed these cheap coffees. Were they always a dollar? Or did they used to be 80 cents? Oh, they've gone up. Guys, we've literally been home for only six hours. And we already have stuff we need to do. So, we're actually only home for three days. And the reason we came home was one, Japan was pretty close to Perth. So it meant that we could come back without jet lag and like change all our clothes up because I was getting sick of wearing the same clothes for three months straight. And another reason is because we have been invited to go to China and we need a Chinese visa. So right now we're going- need to explain the story. Wait, you we're... explain it. What's the story? So, we were meant to have like nine days off between Japan and our next trip. And then we got an email and someone was like, hey, do you want to come check out the Jingsu region of China, which is the, the region that Shanghai's in? And, me and just... you guys know we're a little bit addicted to travel and we can't say no, so... We looked at, I looked at Jess and was like, do we do it? And we're, like, we're like, yeah, let's go to China. So, so now we have we're... 72 hours to get the visa. And hopefully we can get it. So we are now going to the post office to get a picture for our visa. Oh dear, I need a haircut. <laughs> Guys, this is deja vu from two years ago. I'm pretty sure the last time we were going to China to go volunteer with the pandas, we did it last minute. I know. Walking down this exact same street. And then we need to make an appointment for the Chinese embassy, which is what we're going into now. Ugh, fingers crossed we get this visa. This is the stressful part of what we do, trying to squeeze in as much travel as possible. But I mean, I'm pretty thankful we have the Australian passport. We usually have no issues with visas. It's just sometimes like places like China where you have to pre-plan. Loving the Aussie spirit. All right guys, and this is where the vlogging stopped because I accidentally knocked an entire coffee onto this camera, which meant that we had to go and get it in for repairs. So we haven't been able to vlog much. So as you can see, I got a haircut. What are you about to do? I'm gonna chop all my hair off. Uh, look how long it is now. We'll see you soon. Good luck. And Stephen got a haircut. Alrighty guys, time for this guy to get his haircut. I went real short. We spent one of the afternoons seeing Ashley and Heidi's baby. And he is gonna be a little dad very soon. I am. They had a baby. Congratulations so much guys. His name is Hugo and he is so cute. Well, it's crazy. This, the last time we were flying to get married, and just look how fast time flies. Why Wait, I've even, skipped it. Why did I even get you <laughs> a calendar? June, July. Where's August? So That's... it's been June, July, August, and now it's September. We'll be back here in September though. And we always change this. What do you want to remember us by, Cleo? Don't zoom up on me. Want a nice kissy shot? Yes. There you go. <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> Back at the old stomping ground. <laughs> 72 hours later. Hi! Hello. How many guys are you taking? Uh, one each. And now we've packed our bags and we're back at the airport about to head to China. It's currently 8.20, we're 15 minutes till our flight leaves. Please hold the handrail during the whole journey. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh my gosh, so out of breath. <sighs> Officially 
missed our first flight. That's what happens when it is booked in. First I land at 7.30, leave at 8.30 and the flight's 45 minutes late. Alrighty, they've changed our flight, um, which leaves in now five minutes and we have to catch another train. So, the oh running begins. <laughs> Just made it. Literally, I'm the last to go on the plane. Bye, Hong Kong. Yeah, Jess is trying to scab some water before we fly. <laughs> so thirsty. Hey guys, I wish we could have shown you Hong Kong Airport a bit more. It actually looks like a pretty cool place to have a layover. However, a huge, huge airport. Literally, I think we landed at gate two. Ran to gate 50 and then had to run to gate 500. And I, I just realized how unfit I am. And on like two hours sleep because we technically left at midnight and it, what is it? It's now 9 a.m. I'm tired. <laughs> but welcome to China, everybody. We're going to Shanghai now. That is way too cute. I can't believe it. Our luggage came. I was honestly shocked because our changeover was what 10 In the 15 end, we minutes. We only got here 20 minutes difference to the time that we were meant to come, and our bags came. I'm happy. Okay, that's our first time we've ever like missed a flight, and it worked out okay. And we flew Cathay Pacific. I'd give them a yeah, little that little was our thumbs first up. Time we flew them. They fed us. Ni hao. Hello. Hi. Sorry, Hi. it's a little bit late. So we're in the middle of the city of Shanghai, we're staying at the Q Hotel. That's with a Q, not a C. Oh, let's get some lights yes. on in here. Ooh. You first. Whoa, it's huge. <laughs> Whoa, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Oh, separate beds. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> look, you can see me when I bathe. <laughs> the window is awesome. Oh, wow. Got a bit of desk workspace. This is really good. This is super nice. They give you a cup of noodles. Oh, do they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I want a bath now. We'll see you guys in a couple of hours time once we've recovered. <laughs> guys, I lied. It's now the next day. We pretty much just got into bed and crashed out and had way too long of a sleep and I feel like the only reason I'm getting up right now is because we want breakfast and coffee. And breakfast closes soon. And breakfast closes soon. We've really pushed the limits. No, we aren't having breakfast from a vending machine. We have a proper breakfast. I might skip you for breakfast though. <laughs> Hey guys, sorry we have not picked up the camera all day. We actually came into Shanghai one day earlier so we could get work done. We've literally spent 24 hours in this hotel room editing. I've been editing in bed. It's been great. We got a lot done. I hope you guys enjoyed the Japan vlogs because by now you would have seen all of them. They're some of my favorite vlogs so I hope you guys liked them. I just realized that we never told you why we're in Shanghai. Hold that thought because we just need to change hotel rooms. And it is like... Five hours later. Good thing we checked our itinerary because we didn't realize we weren't just staying in Shanghai. We've come out and I've totally forgotten where we are. We'll tell you all about it tomorrow. But we're at a new hotel and we checked in with the cutest, I don't know what you could call him, the receptionist. And he had a lantern and he showed us to our room. Good evening and nice to meet you. Welcome to our hotel. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, I'm very happy to stay here. Okay. Okay. This is the biggest lazy Susan I've ever seen. So this dish here has just pulled up 
translates to a squirrel shaped sweet and sour fish. Yes. And apparently it is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going for this second. This is the best to do meal so far. And it's um, from the region. Oh, yeah, I'm we're currently on a press trip, so the tourism board of Jiangsu, which is the region that we're currently in in China, has invited a bunch of people, including journalists, so people that are studying abroad, and us, and now we are at our room. So I can quickly show you where we're staying for the night. So we're currently staying at Scholars Boutique Hotel. I think this is the city we're in, Pingsheng Fu. We were traveling for two hours, by the way. You didn't yeah. tell them, like, we are way further away from Shanghai now. But it's like a little traditional hotel. I'm the gonna... guy was so cute. I can't get over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jess, there's robes. Yes. Yes, there's some robes. They've also given us some slippers. I just wanted to apologize, guys. I think all we've done in China so far is done hotel rooms for you and uh, traveled. But... but we're about to see a lot because over the next seven days, we are literally hotel hopping every day and going all around the region. Yes. So it's going to be gonna be good but they told us tomorrow is going to be the busiest day so we'll see you in the morning <laughs> <Whoop. laughs>